Christ. He was very much concerned about people, especially people whom he knew needed help. You know, and he was always there and in, to, uh, and it wasn't looking for anything for himself, but rather to be able to reach out to other people. I think he was a, a servant and I think be, that became part of his life because of his spirituality himself, you know, knew that God had gifted him and that he was going to reach out to others and show that appreciation. He was always willing to come in and help. Never a whimper, never a night. He was always more than willing to come in and help at the hospital, which we really, really appreciate. He had a great sense of humor, a great sense of humanity. He really was a, a human being. He was in it for the patient. You could just tell. Definitely in it for the patient, not for his own gain at all. And it was obvious. That's why he had such a loyal following and how he was so loved, really was. He was always a uh, very vibrant fellow. When you would be at a physician function and uh, there was a, you know, a dinner associated with it, usually the, the table he was sitting at was full because uh, people just enjoyed the interchange you'd get with Tim. He had uh, uh, several topics he liked to talk about. Uh, one was politics, one was medicine, and the other was, uh, was football, Notre Dame football. You know, Tim had a uh, had a uh, kind of a quiet charity about him that he did things that certainly were known to him and uh, and God, but he did uh, he had a good heart, a very generous heart, but uh, it was uh, a generosity that you would never suspect, and I'm sure you know Terry know or, or knew or knew of some of the, uh, the generosity that Tim had, but uh, it was uh, it was much much of it was done very quietly, one to one, and very sincerely. I think he came to town in like 87, and I knew him right away. Initially, he was with Dr. Bedell, but then he started his own practice, and he was always very good to the residents, you know. He was a good teacher, and he enjoyed having them, and when he actually was finished with the rotation with them, he always gave them a book, uh, so they would have a reference. Very nice man, and very happy to teach. Uh, he loved to do a lecture. He just, he just totally enjoyed it. He had a good time. You could tell he was having a good time. Our staff that worked with Dr. Moran had wonderful things to say about him. First of all, they said he was just a wonderful human being, that he cared so deeply about every patient that walked in our doors and every patient that came to see him. It didn't matter how busy he was that day, no matter how tired he had been from taking call the night before, Every person was special and got special care from him. The other thing that they said was he let them into um, his life and he talked about his family and how much he loved his children. And they said the smile that came on his face when he talked about his grandchildren was just amazing and how important his family was to him. And it was the most important thing to him along with his faith. And Dr. Moran provided an unbelievable service to this community health center and to our patients. And uh, his long service and doing it every week is just unsurpassed by any volunteer at the community health center. The community suffered a real loss when he departed, but it had a real uh, blessing while he was here.